everyone, Sean Clement here, Wisdom in Golf, at our location at the Richmond Hill Golf Learning Center. And for today's Q&A, instead of doing it in my, uh, in my home office, I thought I'd uh, do it right here because the question had to do with, why is it that I can't get more than 180 to 200 yards on my driver? I'm getting out driven by my buddies, I need more distance, I want to enjoy the game more. Well, so here's a little checklist of things you need to go through to make sure you can whip the snot out of it effortlessly, with ease. It'll feel like, so you notice my first swing there, it feels like you could whip the snot out of it all day, get up tomorrow and do it all over again the next day, okay? So the first thing we need to make sure is that you complete your backswing. Take a look at Brandel Chambly's article in this month's Golf Magazine, February 2016, with uh, Dustin Johnson on the cover. You don't want to do the backswing like Dustin Johnson, but you definitely want to do the backswing like Gene Saracen, Jack Nicklaus, Tom Watson, you know, uh, uh, Bobby Jones, all the greats. So the stats are staggering. You got to check out that article. So number one, you got to get the rib cage and the pelvis completely out of the way of your lead arm so you can gather a full backswing. Look at Bubba Watson, that's his, that's his number one key. Make a big circle, it looks like he could whip the snot out of it, and he does, and because he does it effortlessly, he also happens to be number one in greens and regulation on a consistent basis in the last five years, okay? That's a pretty interesting stat for the longest guy out there, isn't it? So. Take a look at Finish the Backswing Like Bubba Watson video, Sean Clement. You'll see how we're opening a garage door. So imagine a garage door right next to me here. I turn my body to open the door. So notice I have to use both legs, both hips, both knees, and both arms to lift that door as well as it when I want to close the door. So you'll find that video extremely appealing. Um, so number two, once we have a complete backswing, you can check, take a look also at Get Bubba Watson Wide. It's got a fantastic drill in there. So if I were to take my golf posture, bring both arms apart. This is right out of Bill Melhorn's book. So I'm going to take this hand and bring it all the way to this hand. Notice how my body has to turn to be able to achieve that. If I don't turn my body, can't get there. So imagine now all I got is chicken winging, collapsing stuff. So. If you can't finish the backswing, you cannot get the feel that you can whip the club with authority and with effortlessness, okay? So, I want to feel my whole rib cage and pelvis come out of the way. Notice how my lead knee comes behind the ball. I can lift the left heel off the ground. I can leave it down or bring it up. Not a problem. As long as I feel like I can finish my backswing and whip the club with authority that way. Next, the difference between at the ball and through the ball is 30 to 40 yards. Case closed. So you are probably releasing at the ball. Check your grip. So I want you to go to my grip video entitled Weak Grip or Strong Grip. And you'll notice that even though this looks very closed, every instrument known to humanity is designed handle first in mind. I want to go fishing, handle first, then the rod, then the... The, the lure, zzz, I'm going that way. Zzz, so casting in golf is actually very beneficial as long as you're doing it toward the target and not toward the ball. So if your grip, if your grip is neutral and your club face is square, which we, we look at now, I want you to take a, a really important look at dynamic versus static, Sean Clement, okay? so. When my hands lead, my club face is wide open. So now the body says, well, we have to square that up. And all of a sudden, you have to dump yourself into the ball all over again. You have no access to the target. So in order to have access to the target, you've got to have a much more closed face. Statically, it looks closed. But dynamically, it's actually square. That's why you see so many guys on tour. So you see how close that is? You see so many guys on tour with a very strong grip. So that looks square, but with a strong grip. So from there, finish the backswing. Well, 
feels like I can just rip through there all the way to the target. So when people look at me and they say, wow, you got amazing lag in your swing, Sean. They say that about Sergio. What does Sergio say? I don't know, it just happens. What's your focus, Sergio? Well, I'm going that way. Well, that's the whole point. He's got this buggy whip release going out to his target. So number one, you got to finish the backswing at all costs. Number two, once you finish the backswing, what's the deal? Do not let that be your target. The target's over there. So we have to deliver a nice action toward the target. Another one I want you to look at is called throwing the club, Sean Clement. Make sure you have a very safe environment. Have a look at that video and you'll see another one that's entitled lag and head position. I show you how to throw the club properly overhand first, then underhand with one hand, and then finally with both hands, okay? So be very, very careful. Make sure you have an open field and a safe environment because it's very easy to throw the club behind you at first, okay? So you'll, you'll find that out very quickly. So if you want to go farther, well, all you got to do is throw the club farther. That's it. That's all. Okay? So if, it, the, the, if I'm playing baseball and I'm tossing a ball to first base versus throwing a ball, you know, buzzing one in there from shortstop to first base, well, that's a, a very different intensity. But I'm not thinking about what I need to do to throw the ball further. I am just thinking, get the ball to first base before the runner gets there, okay? So there's no thinking involved, we're just reacting to a situation. Same thing here, I have a target out there, I gather my backswing, wow. deliver out to my target. Man, that feels ripped, feels so good, it's so easy to produce. So. That's why, you know, on, on, on days, on, on good days in the summertime, I can easily get the 7 iron to go at 195, but it's typically my stock, my stock shot with is about 175, 180 with complete effortlessness, okay? So I hope you enjoyed that, and we'll see you in the next Q&A.